it's Taryn from Karen Delahunty Sewing and Knitting Centre here and today we're going to unbox the Elna 340 machine. New one we've just had in so let's go ahead and open it and have a look and see what we've got. Okay so get your instruction manual. It's well packed so we take out the polystyrene and then inside here this looks like the foot control that comes with it. And then the machine itself, it does come with a hard cover by the look of it. So let's just have a look. Yeah, there's the hard cover. We'll just pop that over there. And let's take that out of the way. And then the machine. Let's have a look at the machine. Oh, look at that. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? So we'll put this all together and then we'll show you in a little minute. How we put the uh, box the Elna 340. These are all the little goodies things you get in with it. So you've got your instruction manual, which is pretty, uh, you know, self-explanatory. Lots of things going on in there about that one, and your Elna guarantee. Then you get your foot control, uh, which is quite a good feature on this. You've got high and low speed accessories. Lots of accessories, as you can see. Um, and I want to do a massive range of accessories too, but you've got your clear foot, your zip foot, blind hem, over edge foot, some bobbins, um, there's actually another um, spool holder as well. Then on the machine itself, um, as you can see at the side here, there's a little drawer to keep all of your, inf your bits that you need to put in. So you've got all the accessories can go in there and there's a buttonhole foot as well, it's automatic buttonhole. Okay, so drop in bobbin, here's all the lovely stitches rather a lot there, lots of utility stitches and decorative ones um, so we can go through all that in a bit and show you all that and you've got a stitch length and width control feature and the hard cover. So it looks a really good little machine. Okay so now we're going to thread up the machine and we're going to do the bobbin first. This is the Pacific Elna bobbin, plastic bobbin that, that needs to go in the machine. It goes up onto this, the little spool holder there, the little bobbin winder. There's the thread already on the spool and we've added the cap on top and then we're going to take the thread, it's got to go through, shows you on the screen on there actually as well on the top of the machine, through there. Then we're going to take it round the back of the bobbin okay, and then we're going to wind it around a couple of times like that okay, and then we're going to push this over ready to sew. Then we're going to put our foot down on the pedal and you will get it going. And it should evenly feed up and down. Okay. You can stop that at any time you want to. I think we'll stop that about now. Okay, there we are. I'm going to put done. the bobbin in. So pull the little spring there to release. And that actually shows you on that lid which way it goes in the machine. It does just literally drop in. So we're going to drop the whole thing in there. And then it's going to go through the tension disc here. So that's the tension there like that. And it's as simple as that. Now we're ready to thread up the top. Right, so top thread in. We're going to go from the thread across to the across the machine and underneath where the arrows go. Follow the arrows, that's the easiest way. Go down and round and back up again and then we need to find out where our lever is here because we've got to follow that arrow around. So on the side of the machine there's a wheel here that you turn towards you and you'll find that the lever will come up. It brings a needle up and down as well. Then you can carry on round there. Back down again, we're on number four now. Okay and then we're going to go around the needle and then this machine's got a really nice needle threader. Needle threader then, we're just going to go down underneath our little clip there. It'll come down here and through. Okay, then we're going to take this across, take it back, and there it is threaded. There's your loop, look. Wonderful. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so now we've got our machine threaded up and ready to go. Um, we're going to just go uh, have a look at some of the stitches that we've got. So the levers in the uh, side here that you push up and down, you need to put that down to start with. Stitch lengths here, it's about two and a half stitch length, and we're choosing number one stitch at the top. 
because we're on this blue row here. Okay, so if we just sew that now, yeah, you've got a nice straight stitch. Pressing this here will be your reverse button, which will tie off the end of your seams. Okay. If you wanted to choose zigzag, you'd pick number two. So then we just turn that to number two. We're going to ignore all these blue stitches here for the moment. We'll come back to that at some, at some other point. Now we're going to do zigzag. So now we're doing zigzag. It's that easy. Okay. We can make that go smaller if we want to and have it a much closer zigzag. And once I've done this stitching, I'll show you it now when I lift it out. There we are. So there's your straight stitch, the reverse. There's your zigzag and it goes closer there as well. I've just pulled that rather tight, um, too tight, but it's actually okay. So not only do you have all these utility stitches across here, you've also got some other ones across the bottom um, and they're the darker blue. That corresponds to this inner circle here and also to this here at the bottom which is stretch stitches here at the bottom. So when you turn your dial to indicate you want to use the blue, dark blue ones, now whichever we're going to choose here we'll be choosing the stitches on there. So if you were going to choose say number 16 you'd turn it round to there which is um, well all 17 actually even because that's an over edge stitch and we'll show you how that one works. Okay so we've chosen an over edge stitch number 17 and we've got the blue dark blue here to show that we are actually going to stitch that one out and that's it there look. This is a really good stitch for neatening edges um, or you can do it as a seam as well but this is the foot that you'd use. It's the number C letter C foot and it's got the little bars in the middle, a little brush at the side. Okay, so the way to change the feet is at the back of this machine here, uh, you, on, the, on, the, on the ankle, you just press the little black button and the feet will come off like that. So that's that one done. And then we're going to put this one on. They've all got little bars on and just literally where underneath there, there's a little arch underneath here where that fits to. So we're going to align that to fit on there like that and then you bring your lever down onto the foot and it just catches it. So now we've got our over edge foot on. There's a guide just right by this little black um, area here. There's your black guide and when you put your fabric to the guide that will literally sew on that edge. So we're ready to sew on that edge now. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. There we are. It goes backwards and forwards, that's fine. It's meant to do that. And you can see how it's literally sewing right over the edge and almost into nothing, but it's quite happily will do that because this foot is just doing the job for you. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just show you what we've got there. So if we turn the needle in the highest position up, lift our foot up, then we can take right out to the back and we can use the cutter and then that's what you've got there look if you can see that if you see that better on the machine or might be on my hand but whichever way that's your over edge stitch so now we're going to show you how to do a buttonhole on this machine you've got two dials you have to find your buttonhole stitch there and also your buttonhole selector here so we're going to move this one around to there then you have your special buttonhole foot that's this one here and we've already put our button in you can put different size buttons in there okay so now we've put on the buttonhole foot and we've clipped it on like we would normally do for the other feet um, the only thing you've got to remember then is the lever that's just behind this needle threader um, you pull this down it's got a little buttonhole on it and you pull it down and leave it there and that will measure your buttonhole for you okay and then all you do is you put your foot on the pedal and you start and you sew the end of the buttonhole I'm just about to do the reverse now to tie it off so you hold that down you do your little reverse forward a bit and then you're done and then you just turn your wheel towards you 
like that. Lift up your foot and take out. There we are. And then we have our buttonhole there. I hope you've enjoyed our introduction to the Alna 340. You can come along and try this machine in store and that's at 80 Warwick Road in Kenworth. Or you can visit our website at www.carindalhunty.co.uk. Happy sewing!